What's going on everybody? Steve here, Raking Profit over at RakingProfit.com. Coming back to you with another video with my friend Vinny. What's going on, brother? What's going on, Steve? Good to have you here. And uh, in this video, we're gonna do a live, kind of like an unboxing. We have a bunch of toys down here in, in a bin. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but uh, we got a lot of toys here that Unbagging. Vinny picked up from our local savers. And we're gonna open them up with you guys and hopefully demonstrate why he bought these, why maybe you should buy them, what we were looking for, how much we paid for them, how much we looked to sell them for, kind of give you some tips and tricks for getting in to the toy business. Now, we do want to mention as well before we get started that we just created a brand new guide. I'll put a picture of it somewhere on the screen over here. It's called Top Secret Toys, and it's a guide that actually Vinny put pretty much all his knowledge into um, that can help you to start a toy business. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, but for now you want to uh, kind of dive in Vinny and uh, start showing people like what you found. And we, we haven't even opened these yet, but you can see no, through them. So what do we got here? Um, this is a bag of planes. Now the interesting part is this Disney Pixar plane in here. So I'm going to, $2.99 was this so bag. So $2.99, I don't know if people can see it or not, but. Uh, $2.99, you may or may not be able that? to see it. And then we got this. So is this why you bought the bag? This is the only reason why I bought the bag. The rest will be kind of junked there. This is a Disney Pixar Planes Little Dipper. It's a little larger plane. It's from the Fire and Rescue sets. And uh, let me check that out here. So, I mean, if I was to see this, I wouldn't think it was anything special. So, so what... What caused you to buy it? Is it because it's from the fire and rescue line? Because I know. Yeah, I, I know. I know about it. I've okay. bought it before. I've seen it before. I looked it so up. So you were going through this whole listings, I'm assuming, one time, and you noticed yeah. that the... So it's the fire and rescue stuff within the Disney Pixar line? Yeah. Is that what you want to look for? Yeah. Okay. So you're looking through the sold listings right now, and I see that some are selling 20 dollars uh, 22, 28, 24, 99. So, so it's about 20. And you paid how much for that? 2.99, and I had a 30% off. So let's bring that bag over here because I don't think that's in frame over there. So you paid 2.99. What are you gonna do with all this other stuff in there? Because um, I'm gonna put that in kind of a, a junk pile, and maybe if I pick up another bag with a bunch of planes, I might lot up just toy random toy planes, or I just donate them back. So do those sell well, taking like various, I guess, uh, dud planes or dud toys that aren't very popular and putting them all together and lotting them have you had success with that it depends like i can show you i can show you it but um yeah sometimes people like to buy just planes or just cars or just trucks so I, i've done that before um it all depends yeah how much time you have how much time you're investing you know if it's going to take too much time and you don't want to make five bucks six bucks then just donate them back get a 20 percent off or junk them or donate them to a kid somewhere. All right, so that was a cool little find right there. So let's open up another bag and share with people what you paid and, and what caught your attention. Now, this is $3.99, and what caught my attention is the massive amount of stuff in this bag. That's a big bag right there. Usually they're smaller at Savers. Yeah, so this is a this is a good deal. So now, the one reason why I bought the bag is sometimes I buy a bag for one reason, and sometimes I buy it for three or four. This I bought for a bunch of different reasons. This is a this is a Disney Beauty and the Beast. Um, these, it's a talking. These aren't broken. No, that's Chip. That's Chip from the movie. He's supposed oh. to be Chip. <laughs> but this is a talking Mrs. Potts with two chips, and I've sold her with two chips before for about twenty bucks. Really? Yeah working i got it the only thing i have to do is put a battery in it and make sure it's working and that's it so that now, right there will kind of pay for the bag yeah and then and more <laughs> then i get some some soldiers here one two crazy three you got four soldiers lot them up you know then there's some mcdonald's toys and then i got there's peppa pig here these are um these are collectible. Kids like these collectible. And then there's some McDonald's toys. So, and then this is another reason why I bought the bag. There's this uh, vintage golf toy. It's like mm. a bird golfing. It's uh, that's interesting. Made in Hong Kong. I'm gonna have to look that up and find out what it is. But 
So it seems like really when you're going after these bags, you're looking for one or two things that stand out that'll pay for the bag. And then everything else is pretty much profit. Yeah. Whether it's selling it individually or putting them all together in lots. So what I really liked about the bag was the tea I knew was valuable. Then I saw this little guy. I was like, this is interesting. I didn't look him up on the spot, but it's vintage. It's really vintage. And then I saw this, this the soldiers were in there and then some other McDonald's toys and some other little odds and ends are in here. You want to show the soldiers to the people so they can see it? Because I don't think they can see that far over. Here's this one, two, three. There's four soldiers. I mean, these are not a uh, super popular brand. They're Lannard. Lannard. Never even heard of it. But you can lot these up, five of them. And what would you be asking for? Uh, I would start at an, an auction, 10, buy it now, um, 12. Do you do mostly auctions or do. buy it now with with most of these toys? I do auctions. Auctions. A lot. Okay. Yeah. Because I come from the world of doing mostly buy it now on eBay. Yeah, because specific thing like if you have like a Hess truck, you can see that someone's asking yeah. 20, 20, 20. You can see the market, right? Yeah. But for this, who's gonna have the same amount of guys in the same set on mm. the, in the same lot with the same number of them? Not many. So you never know. So with these. I want to say like, what do you call it? They're not, they're made up, they're made up lots. Like it's my, it's my own, Got my it. own lot. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. So there's no way to really price it. So I do it as auction. Like this, I could, I could, the teapot I can put at price because I know what I can get for mm. it. Something like that, no. Awesome, cool. Let's keep digging around and seeing what we got here. Now this bag is interesting. This is a $2.99, which was great. I, I love that it was $2.99. And in here, the one thing that I bought this for. Hey, wasn't this at the Savers the other day? Yep. Was this $20 little Blaze in the Monster Machine stripes race car. So uh, the brand is? Um, this is Mattel and it's okay. Blaze in the Monster Machines. Okay. It's a, I believe it's a Nickelodeon show. It's a kid's show. Nice. And they made die cast cars off of it, but it's pretty high quality too. Can I show you? Let me show you an example real quick. Now, this is the same guy, but this is a monster truck. This one is only worth about seven dollars. And is it worth selling a seven dollar item on eBay by itself? You only um, gonna make a dollar or so, probably, right? Sometimes, I mean, it it just depends. Um, I like, for example, if I all I had was this, I yeah. might just do that. But now I've got. One, two, three, four, five extra ones that I, I, I had in the bags, and I'm gonna lot these up and a lot wow. that one. So I'm gonna split that one up by itself. I actually just sold this for 20 bucks, and it's in one of those boxes. Oh, really? Yesterday. And yep. you found another one. And I found another one. It was amazing. That's cool. And then you kind of get your little goodies bags in here. You have a Lamborghini, it's a little scuffed up. Do you clean a lot of these things before you're listing them? Some of them, yeah. And then I got a Bigfoot monster truck here, which. I'm not sure of the exact value, but I'm gonna find out. And these monster trucks usually go good. So a lot of a lot of it is finding one or two items to pay for the bag or for the lot, whether you're doing it at Savers, Facebook Marketplace, whatever. You find something, you see something that stands out, and then a lot of it is just looking it up to see, oh, okay, this is worth selling individually, or maybe this is a dud pile, or maybe I'm gonna lot this up with a like type of item. So yeah, for example, I bought the bag for this. Yeah. Because I knew it was 20 bucks, but then I got, a little gift in here that I don't know what this may be. It may be seven, it may be 10, it may be 15 bucks. So yeah. I might have another little gift in that bag as well. So that's that. Now I'll look this up. Yeah. I'll find out what the value is and I'll know next time if I see this in a bag. That's cool. Now I see what it is. The Motor Max Bigfoot. This is probably 15 bucks. Really? Yeah. Now, if you sell something for $15 on eBay individually, what do you think you're going to take home at the end of the day? So this is five ounces, this is five ounces. Monster trucks and die cast cars, I, I know five ounces. So this cost me $3 to ship. Okay. Um, and you're in it for essentially nothing. Well, I guess you could average it out and just say a dollar or something, right? Because yeah, pretty much. other items are gonna make your profit, but you're in it for a dollar, shipping is four. If you sell it for 15, fees might be, let's just say two bucks or something. So you're in it for six dollars. You sell it for fifteen. You're what? That's nine dollar profit. Yeah, nine dollar profit. And this that's will be crazy. about a twelve dollar profit here. And people so are passing these items up. That's twenty bucks off of one <laughs> bag. And you know what it takes to list this? What does it take? I I look it up, yeah. which may take a minute or two. Yeah. But since I know the name and I know the brand, I know what it is. I'll find it. I'll copy the listing. 
I'll snap a picture. So sell like as or yep. sell whatever that's called. I'll snap one picture, two picture, three picture, four picture, top five pictures. Put a price and I'm done. Are you it using takes a camera maybe, or your phone? Uh, I use a tablet. Okay. But I do use my phone as well when I'm at okay. home. Yeah. If I'm, I'm listing stuff there. But this will take me five minutes. That's so neat. And then to ship it, what, I, what I'll do is it sells. I have it in my monster truck pile where my selling stuff is. I'll wrap it in bubble wrap, put it in one of those six by four by four boxes, tape uh, it up. To keep it nice and safe. And it's done. So you won't ship in poly mailers? No, not not. Have toys. you made that mistake? And yes, I've made that mistake very <laughs> before. <laughs> cool, man. Uh, let's, let's open up maybe one or two more. We're going to do probably a part two to this video as well and break this up. Uh, because well, we don't want to make these videos too long. I'm not going to go through and go through all these, but this was kind of a mini jackpot for me at this one savers. They had a bunch of these monster trucks, monster jam, hot wheels, monster jam, monster trucks and bags. I mean, I got one, two, three, um, four, five. There's about six bags. Right. Now, why did you buy that? Because I would never buy that. Well, because I just don't have the knowledge. What are you, what are you seeing? I'm getting one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm getting seven trucks for four bucks. And in mostly all these bags, there's seven or eight trucks in each bag. Now you're already thinking I'm gonna lot them together I'm, since they're all- I'm already thinking I could lot them up. Yeah. At, but I know something about these monster jams is individually, some of these go for 10 to 15 bucks. Oh. This Nitro Circus I looked up, he's 15 bucks. This train right here is 15 bucks. The Iron Man I've sold before is 10 bucks. So you're doing so, that when you see something that piques your interest, you're pulling out your phone, you're looking up the sold listings and you're seeing exactly what the market is selling for. Yeah, monster trucks I don't always pick up. Now these I did not look up. I, I will tell you that I, in the store I did not look these so up because- So you're getting a quarter 50 cents each. Yeah, exactly. So I saw 3.99, I actually, I go with my dad on senior day, so I get 30% off. <laughs> so I didn't really pay for, I, I got them for 2.80, so they're, essentially less than a dollar every one. And I mean, yeah. just selling one of these makes the money back from the mm. bag. And then I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, eight. And that's the coolest thing that I've kind of seen behind the scenes being in this warehouse. And I'll put some B-roll on here if you guys didn't see the warehouse, but you find one or two things, it pays for a huge lot of toys, and then everything else is just gravy. So if you're struggling to find inventory, if you're struggling to list enough items, that's a cool thing about this toy business. And that's why I started selling clothing back in the day because I was struggling to find inventory, so. And I'll show you one more cool thing about the monster trucks here. Oh, that's a here. big monster truck. Look, they still kept the $3.99 price, but they included one big one. Now, if you find the big ones like this, they're 124 scale. They're a little bit bigger. They're about eight, eight, what nine inches What does 124 long. scale mean? Because you'll see 155, it's, 140, whatever. It's 1 24th of the actual size. So think oh, about like if you're a human yeah. and I had a little figure of you, yeah. it'd be 24th of you. Oh, so wow. if you're 240 inches, it'd be So the lower the number, the lower the number, this, is it the a smaller. Is it a semicolon? Yeah, it's a sem it's a it's a colon. So the bigger the item, so like a 155 would be much smaller than a 124. Yes, Got and it. a 164 would be the lowest because it's 64ths of that. yeah. <laughs> so, but this thing is like 30 bucks right here. Really? Yeah. And then I get a nice Medusa breast cancer awareness. This is a, a little bit rarer one. Yeah. I, I haven't seen many of those ever. Then I get two dragons. But like, it's just that's so. Cool. I could not pass it up. You know. So what tips would you give people real quick before we end this video? And again, we're going to do a part two of this unboxing, but what tips would you give to people who are starting off with toys and they're trying to learn this? And for me, like, it just seems very overwhelming. So one thing I'll give a tip and me and my dad go by this rule. If it's a collection or a lot of the same thing in one bag, just buy it. Okay. Because <laughs> something like those monster trucks, or let's say I had, a bunch of the Peppa Pigs in a bag, or for example, like these guys are all, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a mini collection, yeah. just, just buy them. As long as they're, they're not, you gotta do your research. So you're saying the average consumer would like to have like multiples of a single theme versus exactly. just one. Rather so, than buying one, 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 one. Okay, my son wants all these characters, I gotta buy $6. And it's a value $6. prop as well because they might buy one for nine, but maybe they could get four for 14 and it's worth it for you. Exactly. Because there's that one shipping cost and you're getting it for so cheap. So that's the general rule is if you see a certain type of toy, whether you know it has value or not, and you don't want to sit there trying to figure out what it is, yeah. just buy the whole collection. If it's two, three, four dollars. Yeah. Most of the time you can't go wrong. I mean, I've, I've yeah. had a couple duds, but most of the time I happens. can't go wrong. Well, that's cool. So uh, with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do us a big favor, like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, do you mind sharing with people real quick about the new guide that we've created? You pretty much put your heart and soul into this guide called Top uh, Top Secret Toys, which I'll put a picture of it right here. It is available for, for sale and we're running a pretty amazing offer on it. We'll put some links below in the description, but can you share with people kind of what they can expect and if it's something that they should look into if they're brand new or even if they've been doing it for a while? So yeah, um, I sat down and I wrote up a list of all the toys that I mean, this is a secret toy guide. This is the this toys is our that... second guide. We have we have one that we created already that was called uh, Toy Brand Profits, which was more easier to find. These aren't hard and to find, but they were more common. The, yeah, common like the Barbies and the GI Joes, what, what everybody knows. But these these toys that I compiled in this list is the stuff that I had to learn on my own. That I was like, this is weird. What is this? I'm gonna buy this, and I found out that oh my god, not only do the popular toys have value, but these weird, obscure, unique stuff that people don't know about, they also have value. Yeah. And this list is kind of those toys. And I compiled the list, I wrote a description, you see a picture, uh, I tell you what to buy. I, I, Estimated I, resale value. Give you a resale value. A jackpot value, item. A jackpot each. item. So it's not just a list. Like literally you go through this guide, you study it, you could probably go through the guide in a couple hours or so, but you want to read it probably five or six times, go out there, and what's holding you back? Just the picture of alone yeah. will, is going to help a ton of people because yeah. just seeing something saying, oh, this is a, what a Peppa Pig looks like. Peppa Pigs are unique. Like, how many times are you going to see something that looks like this? <laughs> Not many. <laughs> so now you before. now you see my guide and you see this, you're like, okay, I know to pick these up. If yeah. there's a big lot of them in a bag. So it's, it's very valuable. There's a picture. And then I give a little added note at the end, kind of tell you sell it a lot, sell it individually, and basically give a little bit of my experience with the item if I have a lot of experience with it. Yeah, and he's been doing around $4,000 a month. I don't know if you want to show him your sales again for the people, because there's always people like, oh, it's not possible to do this. He's not really doing it. Like, it's just, people are very pessimistic on the internet, but we're in his warehouse. We'll, we'll show some more panning and whatnot. Can you see it? No. But uh, let's see if I can bring that up for you. But I think you've done what? Seven or $8,000 in the last 60 days? Something like that? A little over eight. So, uh, yeah, and sold 492 items. So, and, and this guy's doing it part time. He works a full time job. So, I'm not. We're not here saying you're gonna get rich. We're not here saying you're gonna be freaking in the Caribbeans, sipping <laughs> on a mojito or whatever. But uh, you can make some good money in. And there's a lot of opportunity out there. I mean, if you saw the warehouse video, that's all unlisted stuff. Put the, we're gonna put a link down below to the warehouse video. We actually show you everything and kind of give you a tour and whatnot. That is all unlisted. <laughs> I haven't got to it yet. Dude, this has gotta be like- Unlisted. $30,000 worth of stuff that- So it just shows you the, the the mass amount of quantities of these toys and the, opportunity. And, and the opportunity with them. Oh, and one more thing as well. The cool thing about toys, and I'm sure it's not with all toys, but a lot of toys actually increase in value over time because they're older, they're nostalgic, people are trying to relive their memories. I don't know if you guys have kids. I don't have a kid, but I have some friends who have kids. Like These parents will do anything to get the kid to shut up or just to be happy. So it's like, I want, the, I want this toy, I want this toy. Well, there's only one for 40 or only one for 20. They're going to pay for it. And I'll give you a one more avenue that maybe not many people talk about with reselling. Like it could be for resellers, but this guy can also be for collectors because these mm. are these are popular toys now. These toys are going to be nostalgic. So if you even are interested in being a collector, yeah, these are good toys to hold on to. That's a toot toot train. <laughs> Fisher Price. One ninety nine. What do you think that's gonna sell? Thirty for? bucks. Well, with that being said, guys, keep on picking, and making that money. We'll see you in the next one, and uh, check the links down below. More videos coming. So enjoy and uh, we'll see ya. Peace. Peace.